friends, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, sis. You look so cute today. It's almost time for your nap, Papa. <laughs> I feel like a lot has been changing recently here in the Acuna household, and I have so many updates to give you guys. I have potty training updates, I have sleep training updates, I have craft project updates, like two big ones. So I'm excited to just hang out with you guys and catch you up on life and the kiddos and everything in between. Hey, Rowan, what did you just do? So we decided like absolute crazy people to sleep train and potty train at the same time. So Matt took Friday off of work. It is now Tuesday and we have been just going full steam ahead with both of those things. And I wanted to tell you guys kind of how it's been going. Cause I mentioned it on Instagram and a lot of people were curious. So I'll start with Rowan. We are doing the big little feelings potty training course, um, which I have loved so far. Highly recommend if you're thinking about getting it. It was basically like kind of the three day no pants method, but like with some modifications. And I feel like what really sets them apart is that they give you all these different scripts to like memorize or have in mind so that you know exactly what to say, no matter what the situation is, that doesn't like derail the process by adding pressure or guilt or any of that. So he's been doing great. Um, the first day we did no clothes and he had zero accidents. It was incredible, it was amazing. I feel like he oh, was definitely ready because he knew like, oh, I'm going pee pee, I'm going poo poo. Um, so he just picked it up right away. The second day we added clothes and he again did phenomenal. We had two teeny tiny accidents where he managed to like stop midway through and then like get the rest in the potty, which I still think is amazing. Day three, we had a bit of a setback because we had some friends come into town and they came over to visit and I think it was just too much for him. Um, so we skipped the like little short outing we were supposed to do as part of the third day and redid the third day yesterday. So we went to the mailbox and he also went out to my mother-in-law's car to play in her car for about 10 minutes and accident free. We had one teeny tiny accident at night. Again, not a big deal. And this morning, what do we put on? What are you wearing? Chonies. Chonies, yeah, we're trying chonies. What do your chonies have on them? <gasps> it's bingo. <laughs> Uh, it's actually time for her to go down for her nap. So I'm gonna put her down for her nap and then I'll come back and do a little sleep training update because Missy May's been doing so good. All right, Sissy's down for her nap. Rowan's eating a very late breakfast. <laughs> Got a slow start this morning because I feel like with what we're doing with both of them, it's like she gets up and she needs to eat immediately because she hasn't eaten in the middle of the night and then he has to go potty and just gets a little crazy. So we had a little bit of a later start to our day. But I wanted to chat about sleep training too because I know that's been like a big topic of curiosity on my channel. We are doing the same method we did with Rowan which is the taking care of babies method. And I know she's not my favorite person but the sleep course is solid. So, you know, it is what it is. It's basically kind of like a modified Ferber method. So I've been slowly weaning down her middle of the night feeds from like 10 minutes to eight minutes to five minutes to three minutes. And last night was the first night we did no middle of the night feed. So I did a dream feed at 10.30 and then she didn't eat again until like 8.30 when she woke up. Um, she was up twice in the night crying a little bit and Matt and I would just go in there and reassure her but we didn't pick her up or feed her. Um, and I feel like that's about as well as it could go at this stage. I think as time goes on, it will be like less and less because I did cut a 1 a.m. feed as well and it was kind of the same process where there was like a little bit of crying the first couple of days but then she got used to it and she was fine. Um, so I talked to the lactation consultant um, that I work with and made sure you know we were all good on getting her the right amount of calories and so it's it's all systems go it's just a matter of waiting it out but I feel like she's doing really really well we actually tried to sleep train her about three weeks ago and I hadn't taken the course again I had just like looked at my notes from last time and I made a lot of mistakes so I finally just like went back and retook the entire course and it was definitely worth it because it's going so much better this time we stopped last time because she got a little cold anyway so we just kind of started started over and it's been, it's been going good. I just heard the washer finish with the quilt. I finished it yesterday. I cannot believe it. I will show you guys when it's all dry. I'm gonna pop it in the dryer right now, but I'm so stinking proud of this thing. And while that's going, I'm going to attempt to pick up my house at least a little bit because we basically have done no chores the last like four days because it's been, you know, potty training central. So everything is a wreck. Oh, I guess I could show you this while we're in here. So this is the other big craft update. Um, I am much farther along on painting the dollhouse. So the front is done. I think it looks so good. I love the blue and the white. Honestly, the door could probably use another coat. And then the sides need another coat of everything. Probably two coats of trim. 
Yeah, Rowan really wants me to get a doorknob for the front door. I will do that. But yeah, it's coming along and I'm really excited about it. Maybe I'll get to work on it a little bit today. My mother-in-law is coming over later to help with the kids. I'm super stoked. managed to make myself some breakfast. I'm having some egg white bites and some smoked salmon and of course some coffee. <laughs> I'm really like on a fitness kick recently so I've been trying to do a lot of protein because I've been working out a lot and it's been really good. These are super yummy. All right, I did the kitchen and the playroom, which are typically the two worst areas, and the dryer just uh, beeped, which I feel like is a reward. Final reveal, grand reveal, even to me, because I'm not sure how well it survived the wash. Let's go look. Here she is. My very first and probably last quilt, because this was a ton of work, all of this. And this is all hand stitching. And there are definitely some mistakes. I think this is actually the worst one in the whole quilt, this right here. I'm really happy with it, it's very cozy. Gotta snip some threads. But yeah, oh, it sounds like Sissy's up. Sissy girl's awake. Hi. You look so cute, let's show them your outfit. She's wearing this very cute little dress. It's got little magnolias on it. Look how precious with the little flutter sleeves and the matching headband. And I like it, because it's also like snaps at the bottom. You look so cute, huh? You know it too. Her hair is getting so long. A lot of you guys have been commenting on Instagram because I've been doing all kinds of like little styles. We'll do like a little side pony or two ponies. He's so cute. Abu, <gasps> Abu. <laughs> So Juniper's whole outfit is from a company called Kite Baby, and I'm really excited because Kite Baby is actually sponsoring today's video. Back when I was pregnant with Rowan, I reached out to my community and asked for suggestions for what baby clothes and sleep sacks and pajamas and stuff to buy him, and one of the top, top, top responses was Kite Baby. And I can see why. They make bamboo kids clothing, pajamas, sleep sacks, even some stuff for adults, and they are so soft, like out of this world soft. So this is the sleep sack that we've been using for Juniper the last couple of days. It's so stinking cute. I believe this print is called Honey Bear. And what I absolutely love about these is they're made from a really, really soft material derived from bamboo, but they're also like, they almost have like a quilted feeling to them. One thing I love about these is they have a two-way zipper. So you've got the zipper at the top, but you also have a zipper all the way at the bottom so you can actually undo the entire bottom and not just like a zipper down the middle, if that makes sense, which makes diaper changes super easy at night. Another thing that I really love about Kite Baby is that they have a pretty wide range of sizes and you can get matching patterns for your kid and even for yourself. So I have a shirt that matches a dress that I have for Juniper and I have a couple of matching things for the kids. So one of them is this set of pajamas in this really cute constellation pattern. Another thing that I got from them is Harry Potter themed. This is the Herbology blanket and I also got it as a bib for Junie which just came in the mail. I'm so excited about this. And then along with that package that came in the mail, I also got one outfit for each of the kids. So for Rowan, I got these overalls. I think these are so stinking sweet. And then this might be what I'm the most excited about. So you guys know when I was pregnant, I craved strawberries all the time. I ate pounds and pounds and pounds of strawberries. So when I saw this print, I knew I had to get it for Juniper. Look at the little strawberry dress. It's so cute. It also has a headband and these are some of my favorite headbands for her because they're very soft and they also tie so they're adjustable. So, so sweet. I cannot recommend Kite Baby enough to you guys. I wish that you could feel this material for yourself. They are our new go-to for everything. Dresses, pajamas, blankets, bibs. Look at the little Harry Potter bib. So if you wanna check them out and be in soft cloud heaven with me, the link will be down in the description. 
All right, reinforcements have arrived. Nana is here. She's only here for a couple hours today. So while she's got the kids, I'm going to film my sit down video for the week, which I'm honestly very scared to film. It's something I've been putting off for a while. I'm gonna do a video talking about kind of my mental health journey. And it's obviously like nerve wracking to be vulnerable about that kind of thing, especially on the internet, which can be kind of a cruel place. But 99.9% .9 of you guys are so lovely. And I think it's such an important thing to talk about, especially for moms, because it can be kind of like a, a silent killer, <laughs> at least silent killer of your mood. So yeah, I need this camera to do that. So I'm gonna go film, wish me luck, and I'll see you guys after. All right, I'm done. I just sat down and filmed for like a half an hour and now I have a vulnerability hangover. It's something I really wanted to talk about. Sometimes I just gotta pull in that Gryffindor bravery and just go for it. Kiddos are sleeping, I just ate lunch. I never film eating lunch because I feel like whenever I try to film while I'm eating, I just end up talking to the camera and not eating because I don't want to talk with my mouth full and then my food gets cold. Um, but I am going to work on cleaning this couch now. We got this little green machine off of Amazon. I'll show you in a second. And we haven't had any pee pee accidents on the couch, but we have spilled some things. And we have company coming over tomorrow for a little D&D &D party that Matt's doing. So uh, I figured I would clean it. Okay, so this is my upholstery cleaner. I got this off of Amazon for like a hundred bucks and it has been a lifesaver with a white couch. So I'm gonna spray it with Folex and then I'm gonna do this. That took most of my afternoon, <laughs> but the couch looks great. I have so much more cleaning to get done before the party tomorrow, but my hand is cramping from holding that trigger for so long. That thing works so well, but it is a lot of work. So I think I'm going to paint the dollhouse, which I'm now realizing as I say that also requires some fine motor control, but it'll make me happy. So I'm just gonna spend like 10 minutes doing that because the kids should be up any minute. Here's my dollhouse progress for the day. I think the front is done. That's very exciting. And then the sides, I am done with the blue, but I think they need at least one more coat on the trim, maybe two, because it's very streaky. Because I'm just using, you know, cheap acrylic paint. I probably should have bought nicer paint. But oh my gosh, how cute does the blue and white look? I'm hoping that in the next vlog we can set up all the furniture. Good morning. Hi, happy baby. All right, it's been a hot second since I picked up the camera. Uh, my mother-in-law's gone, it's just me with the kids, and man, it is difficult to vlog with two kids. Um, Matt's on his way home from work, and Missy May is going down for her last nap of the day. So you guys probably won't see her again, so say bye-bye, sissy. But me and Rowan are still gonna hang out. Let's go take a happy nappy. Yo, kids, yeah. Yeah, it's a big package. Yeah. Should we open it and see what's inside? Yep. What do you think is in here? Oh no. I might see my baby bite. So I'm doing uh, a bunch of lives with whatnot, and I'm pretty sure that this is some wholesale stock that I ordered for that, which is very exciting. Can we open it? Yeah, absolutely. It's Christmas yet. So I got a bunch of like silicone feeding essentials for the live that I'm doing on baby led weaning. That is what all this is. Very exciting. I absolutely love these. These are like the exact ones, the exact spoons and stuff that we have. And they are so, so nice. I wish I had done silicone from the very beginning so you can dishwash them. Um, but I did bamboo first 
and regretted it. So hopefully somebody can learn from my mistakes. Uh, it was tricky navigating how to buy wholesale as somebody who doesn't have like a wholesale license, um, but I figured it out for my whatnot sales. So there's also a couple things that I bought Sissy in a separate order in here. Got little bibs. Look at how stinking cute the lace is. You look like a no bib. Yeah. No bib. Another bib. This one's a little waffle. So cute. Yeah, well, that's green. Do you, do you feel any poo poo or pee pee before we do this? It's green. Okay. Do you feel any poo poo or pee pee? No, not yet. Okay, you tell me if you feel poo poo pee pee. It is green. Breaking out the Play Doh. Classic. Oh, stretchy. Our friends gave us this, so I don't actually know. It's like kinetic sand, but also Play Doh. <gasps> That's fun. That was that was fake. Oh, it's smooth. It's, yeah, it's smooth. Is that fun to play with? I want to touch this. Yeah, you can touch this one too. I don't even know what this is. <gasps> it gets like all fluffy as you stretch it. <gasps> this is so satisfying. Ooh, look, it's a little bit sparkly. What? Do you know what color it is? Green. Yeah, it's kind of green. I'll accept that. Remember, mommy said it's aqua. Can you say aqua? Yeah, it's green. Yeah, that's green. What's, what's this color? It's super hard. Yeah, if we take it out, it'll get less hard, I think. It's not hard anymore. Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? I suspect there's baking soda or baking powder in these. That's kind of what it feels like. What's your favorite color? It's boingy. It's boingy. Boingy. So You see that? Whoa! Open this for me. Open it for me. Open it, please. Thank you. You open all of this. Yeah. Okay, you wanted the green? Yes. Only one we haven't opened yet is the blue. All right, you guys, I think that's all I've got for you for today's vlog. Matt's almost home, and we're just going to be cleaning for the party and eating dinner. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for watching. We love you a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he knows his cue. Take the camera off for me. Okay. It's cheese button. Uh, this one first.